We know about lie detectors, how about stupidity detectors? Stupidity detectors don't grow on trees. In fact, I don't think you can even buy them commercially. But you can make them, and in this video I'll show you how. You won't be fooled, but your friends might be. There's very few parts involved. A meter movement, not critical, but a full scale deflection of about one milliamp is okay. An NPN transistor that you might just be able to see under my thumb. A potentiometer, about 250k. And a nine volt battery. Then there's the touch sensor. Depending on how you're touching it, that is how moist your fingers are, how close they are pressed together, and how hard you're pressing on the detector affects the resistance and thus the current flowing into the base. That affects how hard the transistor is turned on and in turn the deflection on the meter movement. Of course that's not for your audience to know. That's why I've got the touch plates behind the instrument. And as for the potentiometer that's like a sensitivity control so you can measure different levels of stupidity or if the moistness of your fingers vary. You set it so that when you're pressing hard it's reading full scale deflection. So you can then lighten your touch and the meter needle swings. Then there's the wire loop. Of course you and I know that it does nothing but for your audience that's your probe that you can put on a video, movie, book or even a person in order to measure their stupidity. Running through the circuit, the emitter of the NPN transistor goes to the negative lead of the battery and one side of the 250K. The base goes to the centre of the sensitivity potentiometer and then the probes to the other end of the potentiometer, that's one probe, and the other to the positive rail. The meter connects between the 9 volt battery, the positive rail, and the collector of the transistor. I didn't measure the specifications of the meter, but something like 1 milliamp full scale deflection would be fine. So there we have it, a quick simple electronic project that proves that not everything you build must necessarily be completely useless. Stupidity indicators like these have many practical purposes. But just don't take the results too seriously.